So um, this is an inverse proportionality question. Um, the question tells us that y is inversely proportional to the square of x. We're also told that when x is 5, y is 16. And the problem is to find the value of x when y is 10. So to do this question, we need to um, interpret correctly the statement y is inversely proportional to the square of x. Well, with all proportionality, we have a k to start with, and we have to find that with the information we're given. If it's inversely proportional, then the square of x is written underneath k. If it was simply proportional and not inversely, it would have read y equals kx squared, but we're clearly told it's inversely proportional. So to find the value um, of k, we substitute in the given values of x and y. So we're told that 16 equals k over 5 squared. 16 equals k over 5 squared. So k equals 16 times 25. And 16 times 25 is 400. 425s make 100. You've got four fours in 16. You will get 400. So we now know that k is 400. So the relationship then is that we're dealing with is y equals 400 over x squared. Now we've been asked to find the value of x when y is 10. So we replace y with 10 and we say that 10 equals 400 over x squared. 10 equals 400 over x squared. So we can swap the x squared and the 10 around or we could cancel the naught there and the naught there. So if I do it that way, 1 equals 40 over x squared, so x squared equals 40. So x will equal the square root of 40, and we can leave the answer like that. So that's an inverse proportionality question, all hinges on you interpreting correctly the statement y is inversely proportional to the square of x. Um, we have done that correctly here, and then the rest is simply algebraic substitution and rearranging um, our equation. We're solving a simple equation. Okay, that's inverse proportionality.